Hey friends, welcome back to Llama <clears throat> Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. And I'm Big Daddy. <laughs> I just want to thank everybody for the thoughts and prayers that y'all uh, gave me for this last few weeks. It's really helped a lot. And this is Phoebe. And she's excited that her daddy's in here with us. You <laughs> can see she's staring him down. She loves Big Daddy. When he comes home from work, she gets so excited, she just starts howling. <laughs> So today's video is about, oh, she won't know where to you. <laughs> today's video is about um, July's crochet roundup. So it has been a long month and I have done a lot of crocheting. So I want to say right off the bat, crocheting is not a race. It's not a contest. So I kind of feel bad that I did like a whole lot of crocheting and I have a whole lot of projects and I don't want anyone to feel bad if they don't have that many projects they completed in the month. We all have good months and bad months. I might have a month where I don't get much done and then I might have a good month where I get a lot of things done. And so, but a lot of my things are small projects, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, please don't compare. It's everybody crochets at their own pace. And I better get busy because this might be a long video. <laughs> since I have a lot of things to share. Okay, so first off, um, I wanna say that throughout the month, I show my projects as I make them, and I go in like a little detail about them. I show the book that I got the pattern from and stuff like that. Well, in this video, on the monthly video roundups, I don't go into great detail or show the books because I'd have to gather up a stack of books to bring in here. And I've already showed the book. You can go back through my videos and watch um, any of the particular videos on a certain project because I always put the what's in the video on my title so they're easy to find. So if you want to know more about a certain project, you can go look at that video. So anyway, let's get started. All right, so one of the little items that I made for this month is this little turtle. And I just smile when I look at her because I just love, I love the turtle with a hat on. And so I use a G-hook on this turtle. And the green is a lime green. Um, it's a neon lime green. I'm not sure. I believe it was a scrap ball, so I'm not exactly sure what... Um, color it is you know what what brand it is or whatever but anyway the pink is a red heart pink and um i did use gray oh, i read down here gray and i'm like gray what gray i did use gray on her um on, on her belly part of the shell and that is a one pounder gray and then the little the fuchsia color i know that's a craft smart but it was a scrap ball that i used but anyway, I think she turned out cute. She is from the book Happy Gurumi. So there's my little turtle. And I like the way she looks. My assistant, my assistant's helping me today. He has a basket that he's going to be putting items in. And we, we have everything just kind of poured out on the table here. So it's kind of an Easter egg hunt type thing to find mm -hmm. the next project. <laughs> Okay, so one of the next items I have wrote down here is a strawberry cupcake. And so I had fun making this little cupcake and creating it. I used a G-hook. Um, most of my projects now I am using a G-hook, so I am proud of that. That I got down to be able to use a G-hook. <laughs> and this little cupcake is made with, this part right here is the Red Heart Soft White. And, um... This is just a red heart red. I'm not sure if it's cherry red or red, but it's red. <laughs> and so, um, and then there's a little touch of green. I think that's an I love this yarn green. But anyway, um, this came from the book. The cupcake came from the book Whimsical Stitches. And then I just made a strawberry and added on top of it for it to be a strawberry cupcake. Because I kind of got into like decorating cupcakes there for a little while. And I might still be. <laughs> Okay, and speaking of cupcakes, my next item I have right here is a elephant cupcake. And so I created this cupcake, and it was in a recent video. And I used a G-hook. I created this using two different books. The cupcake itself is from 
the book Whimsical Stitches, and then the the elephant ears and the trunk is from the book um, Crochet Donut Buddies. So I just combined those two patterns and made an elephant cupcake. And then I um, made this candle, and it's separate, so it just kind of sticks in. It can be removed and such, you know. So on this one, this is a Craftsmart light blue and a Red Heart Erin. This candle is, um, I love this yarn, fruit salad. And the gold is a Walmart mainstay gold. Yeah. So anyway, I like the little elephant cupcake. I think it's cute. I think these would be cute for like a little baby's birthday party. Maybe like a one-year-old, um, you know, uh, birthday party, an elephant theme or something, you know. Anyway, that's my elephant cupcake. Here you go, Big Daddy. All right. Okay. Let me see if we can find... I gotta turn the page to find out more projects. Okay, way back, way back in the month, <laughs> I made this 4th of, Ju 4th of July cupcake earlier this month for the 4th of July. And so, this cupcake, I did use a G-hook, and it is, I made this part right here with Red, red Heart White and Red Heart Off-White. And this is Craft Smart um, Light Blue. So, this was a quick little cupcake that I made up. The um, pattern for this part right here did come from the book Whimsical Stitches. And this star is a, um, you can find it on Google, if you Google um, crochet star. And I just have made those before, and so I kind of remembered the pattern and just remembered how to do it. But also, Stringy Ding Ding put out a star pattern, like the, maybe the day that I showed this, she put out a little pattern on her website of the same exact little star. <laughs> So, I thought that was cute for our 4th of July. And then, for the fall, let's see, what was it called? Um, All for Fall Crochet. It was a collab that I did with, um, who was in that? I want to say, All for Fall. It was for... Along, it was a collab along with Caroline for the Love of Crochet, Cassandra at Craftably Ever After, and Julie at KS Mom Crochets. They were doing a All for Fall collab crochet, and um, I joined in with them and made a little witch gnome for Halloween. The thing was, it had to be a um, amigurumi, and it had to inclu include the color green. And so, I had this um, pattern in a book that I have called um, Book of Year-Round Gnomes or something like that, Year-Round Gnomes. It's a book from Amazon. And so, I used a 4 millimeter, which is a G-hook, <laughs> for her. Um, the purple is Mainstay Purple. And then, um, the black, I believe, is a Craft Smart. And then, um, the other things were basically scrap balls. That I have a bucket of scrap balls on my desk, and I will tell you that I didn't follow the pattern on the shoes. I know I don't have to tell you that, but I just want you to know that I'm not perfect. I could not get that pattern to work for me. <laughs> and I was working on that, like, so many times. I was working on that the shoe, and I was like, I was like crocheting, and I was just like, just throw it down, and... <laughs> I did that several times, and finally, I just like, I'm creating my own, and so I just created the, my shoes on my own, but anyway, I think the little witch gnome turned out cute. All right, let's see what else we got here, Big Daddy. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be like, pre-picking up projects. I don't know what these are, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> this is that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, so here is another mishmash of two patterns that I use to make a unicorn cupcake. And so this, I started off using the pattern from the book Whimsical Stitches, but then I, um, I tore this part out and thought I could make that to look more like a cupcake wrapper. And so I just kind of did that part on my own. Um, I just knew that if I flipped it over and crocheted in the back loops each time, that it would end up giving that ridge look and look kind of like more like a cupcake wrapper. So that was my goal for that, and it turned out good. And then I used the book um, Crochet Cute Critters for the um, snout and the ears, and maybe the horn, or maybe I didn't follow the horn exactly for the book because I needed it to be this size for my cupcake. <laughs> So I did use a G-hook on this, and that is a mainstay, Walmart purple, red heart soft white, and then these right here were just little little pieces of scrap balls from my scrap ball bucket. So anyway, I like the way my um, unicorn cupcake, and again, this would be great for... <laughs> she thinks she's being slick. <laughs> this would be great for um, birthday party, give, you know... Um, what do you call it? Favors, you know, that you give out at birthday parties and such. So anyway. And the eyes on this are kind of clear around the edge. And so it has like little purple. I know you can't really see that, but it has purple behind the eyes. So they're glittery in person, but that doesn't really show up on camera. Anyway, there's my unicorn cupcake. All right, the next item on my list is one that I am very proud of because um, it was kind of a challenge to myself. It is my frog, Kirk the Frog. He is from the book Zumagurumi. Um, he is from the book, he's in a Zumagurumi book, but I don't know which number, but he is also in the book where they took 30, um, 25 or 30 animals of the favorites, you know, so he's in that bigger book. And um, this is my frog right here. There you go. <laughs> so the reason why I wanted to make the frog was because I thought his feet were interesting and I had never crocheted a project that had like fingers or toes like that. And so I kind of wanted to um, just prove to myself that I could do it. And so I did it. And then I realized I had to prove to myself I could do that three more times. And so... <laughs> I didn't want to really want to prove it that much. I just wanted to prove it one time. Proof of concept. Um. But I went ahead and finished him up, and <sighs> he turned out so cute. I love the way he worked up. And so for him, I used impeccable, speckable stripes, loops and thread, and I used um, two of those balls for him. And I did use a G-hook. For him and I just think he turned out super cute I love the way he looks it's gonna be so hard picking items to go in the fair because you know you can only put one item per category and um, so I'm probably gonna come back to you guys and tell you the category and show you a couple of different things and let y'all vote on which item to put in the fair for that category so let's see I never did show this little project because it was just a little tiny project and I never did show this one to you guys um, through, the, through the month but I had made this little bitty whale he was he's just a scrap yarn I had this little uh, I think that's craft smart yarn but it was a craft smart it was a cra scrap ball that was in my craft craft scrap. smart it was in my scrap ball bin, and so I just made this little up. One day I was like, um, I was doing something on Instagram and my computer, and I saw this. It was a little free pattern on Instagram. I think the place is called crochet underscore pattern underscore free. And so that's where I got this pattern, and I just crocheted it up. I used Red Heart Soft White because it was laying on my desk already for the belly. 
So anyway, it's just a little cute whale. Um, you can't really see that eye over there too well, but it's there. <laughs> this was a super easy um, pattern. It worked out really quick, like really, really quick. And I did use a G-hook on this little whale. All right, we still got more to go. <laughs> Okay, so the next project up is this koala, this little sleeping koala bear. I love this. I think it's so precious. It would look so awesome in like a baby nursery, sitting up on the shelf or the top of the dresser or something. Um, I did use a G-hook, and I used a Karen one-pound, a one-pound Karen skein on this, and it was happens to be the one that I got at Ollie's. That said it's mint green, but it's not mint green. It's a light bluish, blue. bluish gray, but it's kind of light blue. And this pattern did come from that big book of Zumagurumi favorites. And it also, I crocheted this leaf that is included in the pattern. And so um, it can be, you know, just used different ways. One, one way I like that I did photo it, I put it like... Kind of like that i thought it was cute so anyway that is my little baby koala i love this i think it's such a cute cute pattern um i think it would be a great like baby shower gift or something like that but anyway yeah and then i had a challenge um for myself this past month where i took one skein of yarn and it was a barcelona loops and thread and so I did a little challenge to see how many projects I could make with that yarn so I made, ended up making six projects and let's see um, Big Daddy can you reach any of that what? anything that's made with this yarn <laughs> there just one of them yeah okay so um Okay. Try not to squishy dog here. All these projects were made with the Loops and Thread Barcelona. So I made this little octopus. He um, has his little eight little legs. Um, and I did use a G hook on. No, I used a H hook on all these because this was a bulky five um, yarn. And so I went ahead and used a H hook, which is a five millimeter hook. So this little octopus came out of the book Hooked on Amigurumi. All right, I made this little oxalotl. And it came out of the book Plenty of Fish in the Sea by Stringy Ding Ding. And so um, this was the last project I actually did with the skein. And I was running out of yarn, so I had to rip it out a little bit on the feet and not put like the little arm parts of the feet i just put the feet <laughs> so i kind of botched that up on my, on my own a little bit to make it last and i ended up with a piece of yarn about that long left over from the whole skein so that's my oxalotl um, one day i would like to make these again in different colors and just see how they work up all right, and then I have this little octopus. What? I have this little octopus with the curly legs, and this did come out of the book Plenty of Fish in the Sea. Next, I have um, this whale. This whale is also, also, it was a crochet free pattern on Instagram. It's the same one I did with that other, except on this one, I used a bulky five weight yarn and a five hook instead of a G hook. So it's just a little whale. He turned out cute. And actually I made two of the little whales. One of them has a gray belly and one has a white belly. So there we go, two little whales. <laughs> uh. 
And let's see, the last one is a jellyfish that I made. It came from the book Hooked on Amigurumi. And it has some little tentacles in there and more tentacles. Phoebe, you are a mess. You are a mess, little girl. So that is the jellyfish that I made out of that one skein. So I did get six small projects out of that. And that was a fun little challenge just to see um, how many projects I could do with that one skein of yarn. Oh, Phoebe. Okay. Next up, we have a strawberry jam jar. And I will be putting this on a wreath that I'm doing for my fair. Oh, Phoebe. So on this, um, I just made this little jar a jam, and I put jam on it. Actually, it is from the book um, Hooked on Amigurumi. And in there, they have a peanut butter jar and a grape jelly jar. And they don't say jam. I just kind of put that on there myself and used red so it would, you know, look like strawberry jam. <laughs> Does it look like strawberry jam? And I am going to put a little strawberry thing on the front right here um i had a sweet subscriber to send me a little um packet of little strawberries and that is cool that it's a packet of strawberries because i'm really into strawberries right now so i will be using that on different things um but anyway i'll be showing that in happy mail tomorrow so um this i used a elf hook actually so Went down a little bit, and I used Red Heart Cherry Red and Red Heart Soft White on the little jar jam. And it will be added into a wreath for the fair. Did I say that already? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so, turn the page again. Next up, I have a mermaid that I made for a wreath that I'm doing for the fair. I'm doing a crocheted wreath, so and the theme is Under the Sea, and so I have a lot of those sea creatures I'm fixing to show you guys. And don't scoot that, because it picks up every little noise. Um, so anyway... I have not added her hair yet, and that'll probably be the last thing I do for the project because I don't want to add the hair and then wish I had made a different color. So I'm laying, when I get everything laid out on there like it's going to go, then I will make her hair. But she was made with a G-hook um, from the book Plenty of Fish Under the Sea, or Plenty of Fish in the Sea. <laughs> um, and her skin actually... It was a scrap ball that I had, but I think it is a Craft Smart, not Craft Smart. I think it's Secret, Secret, Crafter Secret Ivory or something like that for her skin. But anyway, and then the bottom is Retro from Red Heart. I love that color, and I think it worked up beautifully for mermaids. And I'm going to challenge myself something with that um, yarn this coming up month, so... Anyway, um, so that's my mermaid, and I think she's cute. Even without hair. <laughs> she will get hair eventually. All right. Um, here's the octopus. I know, they look, they look the same. <laughs> okay, so here is a little octopus that I made for my wreath. Um... I used an elf hook on this. Okay, so I've made different octopus and different things, and most of them, you know, like have a ball head. But I wanted this one to have a taller head, and so I just, when I was doing the rounds where you go single crochet in every stitch, I just extended that a little longer and then started tapering off and closed it up um, and then added the tentacles. So I just wanted a longer looking head instead of just like the little round head that most of them have. So this is a mainstay pink and um, I made it up as I went. <laughs> and it turned out really cute. A little octopus. All right. Next up, I have a seahorse. 
I made this little seahorse using the book Plenty of Fish in the Sea. And I love the brightness of it. I love how bright it turned out and how cute this one turned out. I did use an elf hook to make this a little bit smaller so it would fit well on the wreath. And this is made with a Craft Smart Yellow and Mainstay Orange. So he turned out cute. I like him. I had made him before and used a H hook when I first got the book but I wanted to try to make it smaller and so I went to a elf hook. Are you paying attention? Because I'm going to ask you a question at the end. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so the next project I have up is this little crab. Um, it is from the book Plenty of Fish Under the Sea, and I did use an elf hook on this crab. You can see his little um, pinchers there. And I didn't add the bottom legs because he is going to sit in the bottom of the um, wreath. And I thought the, le the legs might make him not sit so well, so I left the legs off. But and when I get to the end, if I see that you can tell that he doesn't have legs, I can always add those no problem but anyway for right now i'm leaving the legs off so that i can make sure it does sit well in the bottom of the wreath <laughs> and so this is made with red heart cherry red now we have my little clam that i made from the book um plenty of fish under the sea so i like this little clam it turned out cute this is made with a big twist light purple and a red heart soft white on the inside and a red heart pink on the inside. So this was an interesting little make. It came, like I said, it came from the book, Plenty of Fish in the Sea or Under the Sea. And anyway, that's my little clam. It's going to go in the bottom of the wreath for sure. For sure. And next I have um, this little sea turtle that I made. And it is also from the book Plenty of Fish in the Sea. I used an e-hook on this. Okay, and I did not enjoy using the e-hook on this because this yarn right here was very splitty using the e-hook. And it just um, did not work out well for me. I mean, I made it, but... Um, it was a little bit uh, splitty and just time consuming because I kept having to redo the stitches. But then on the green, it didn't do that so much. It was just the brown that was real splitty like that. So anyway, here is my little sea turtle. I like the way he turned out. I, like I said, I used e-hook. This is Red Heart uh, Cafe Latte and Spring Green. And now I have this little jellyfish that I made. And it is also, it is using, the pattern for this is from the book Hooked on Amigurumi. And so it has like all the little straight tentacles there in the middle. And then some curly ones around the side. And I used a chi hook for this little guy. And I think it turned out cute. It is going on my crochet wreath under the sea. A lot of projects <laughs> okay and next I have um, this clownfish which I call a Nemo fish oh sweetie so I made this little clownfish it is from the book plenty of fish in the sea and I used a e-hook on this can y'all believe that I used an e-hook I worked hard using that e-hook. Um, the smaller the hook, the harder it is on my hands. Uh -huh. And so... Um, I think it's the higher up the alphabet, the smaller the... No, the larger the hook goes, the higher the alphabet. And okay. so I used the e-hook, which is um, a small hook. <laughs> I don't know the number. I don't know the millimeter of it. But um, 
it was hard on my hands, but I did it. I pushed through and got it done. This is from the book Plenty of Fish in the Sea, and I used Mainstay Orange, um, a Mainstay Black, and a Red Heart Soft White. So, anyway, I am proud how that turned out, and it will be going on my crochet wreath. We're almost done, almost done. <laughs> Um, can you hit that? I, the battery's supposed to run out. Not battery, but the time. Okay, we're back. Um, I was running out of space on my phone, so I had to uh, clear up a little space for this. Alright, next project I have is this little puffer fish. Um, oh, this little scary guy. Actually, that's a puffer fish. <laughs> This is uh, this is my little puffer fish that I made. I did not follow a pattern for this. I followed a photo, and <laughs> I followed a photo for him. And um, I was just looking at a picture in a book. I couldn't follow the pattern because I could not um, use the hook that the pattern was recommending because it was going to be like five inches wide and I did not want it that big and it was already using a very small hook a three millimeter hook and I could not go smaller than that so um, I just did my own little thing here and I used a G hook and just kind of tried to make it look like the photo which it does not <laughs> But it's a puffer fish still the same. I used Orange Day Orange and um, I have black wrote down here. I don't know. I used to, I don't see any black. I used Orange Day, I mean a Mainstay Orange, which is a Walmart yarn. And I used Craft Smart Pink for the inside of the mouth. And then I used Red Heart Soft, what, that's Aaron, Red Heart Aaron for the other part of the body. And so, and then I went back and made all these little spiky things on it. Those were all made separately and onto it. And I um, made these little flappers and I actually used the little wings from the seahorse. I made those and put on for that. And then I just kind of made a bigger one for the little tail at the back. So... That is my puff fish, and it will be going on my crochet wreath. Okay, so I made a whole bunch of strawberries. <laughs> I will be making a strawberry wreath this coming up month to go um, into the fair, and so I've just been making um, some strawberries every now and then when I'm sitting there at my desk, and I don't have, um, you know... In between projects or something I'll just make some strawberries um, and I'm just trying to do them different sizes like I'm not following the pattern for each one I'm following like um, the gist of the pattern I guess you could say because I want the strawberries to all look the same I didn't want them to look exactly alike because when I buy strawberries from Walmart every strawberry in that package is different and so I think this is the only one that I actually followed the pattern for. And the others, I kind of just jacked it up and made the pattern like a little bit wonky. So it'd be different size strawberries. Makes sense. <laughs> so I'll probably be making a few more <clears throat> strawberries. And then I've got to add the little green tops to all of them. So anyway, I'm making a strawberry wreath for the fair. That'll be coming up. All right, so down down to the wire here. I made these um, this tube coral that um, I made this little hot pink, and it's just tubes. I started out with um, a six single crochets, increased to twelve, and went up from there. And I did use a G hook on these tubes. So that is my tubal, tubal, coral, coral. <laughs> mm. I'm making it up, okay? Yeah. And then um, here is my other coral that I made. 
This is a Craft Smart Bright Purple. I believe it's Craft Smart. It didn't have the label on it. I thought I pulled it out of the label and I stuck a label back on it. And when I went to write it down, that label was for black yarn. So, obviously, that was the wrong label. <laughs> but anyway, I think this is, um, I think it's a Craft Smart yarn. I'm not sure. But this is kind of a neon purple. And I did use a G hook on this and I just um, made it up. Seriously, I just made it up. I mean, you can't go wrong with coral. There's no certain pattern to follow. You just crochet until you feel like it's big enough for your project. And I didn't want it to be too big because I already have a lot going on on that wreath. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, last project for the month of July is I crocheted seaweed. Yes, seaweed. Um, and I did just different lengths of seaweed. I have, um, there's a long one. These are going to go on my crochet wreath that is going into the fair. And so um, I'm envisioning these kind of being in the centerpiece of it. The um, wreath, the opening part. I'm going to try to put these. And then put, you know, fish and different things around it. So... That is all my projects that I finished for the month. Now, I still have other projects that I worked on that I didn't quite get finished. Oh, I did finish my dog for the puppy parade, but I haven't put that video together yet. So I'm going to save that dog for that video. And that video will be coming up soonish. Um, my son Dakota is supposed to be coming over to help me put that together. And who knows, he might do a video with me. Um... But I do have a dog. It's a large dog. It's big. <laughs> but I'll be showing that in that video. And then, I, like I said, I have projects that I worked on. That um, Oh, there's another project that I didn't get completed. But I will be I'm close to completion or I'll be completing soon. Here also is a sandcastle that I made for um, the Yarnivores beach theme. I made a, I crocheted a sandcastle. Um, it's a whole group of ladies that do this yarn of wars. They have a monthly theme or something. Um, you can go back and watch my video and I linked all them below. So, yeah, that was my crochet. And I didn't have a pattern for that. I made it up. And then the other thing that I worked on a lot during this month, but have not completed because I'm not in a, I'm honestly, I'm not in a rush to complete this because I'm enjoying working on it. But it is my um, mandala blanket. It's um, so pretty. It is working up super pretty. I'm using rainbow colors. And I will be entering this in the fair. So um, I work on it a little bit each week. And I show updates of this blanket on Tuesdays. So... Come back Tuesday and see what else, see what I added to this blanket for this week. So I will be crocheting on that like Sunday or Monday. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I kind of just went fast through all these projects because I knew it was a lot of projects. And like I said, I'm a little bit embarrassed that it was so many projects because I don't want anyone to think, they didn't crochet enough or something. But keep in mind that crocheting is my job. So I worked hard this month. <laughs> what you think, Big Daddy? Okay, my question for you. Out of all these projects, which was your favorite? Oh, Lord. The clownfish. <laughs> the clownfish? Yeah. Okay, I have a feeling you're saying that just because it's broke down. Yeah. <laughs> The clownfish. The clownfish. Okay. So you can tell us below what, of all these projects that I completed this month, what was your favorite project that I made? Um, I think mine, oh gosh, it's probably a tie between the sleeping koala baby and um, the frog, my big tall frog. It's probably a tie between those two because I think they both turned out just really adorable. And I'm really proud of those two. Those were, you know, the frog was a larger project. And I guess the koala bear was too. So I think those are my two favorites. 
Phoebe, what was your favorite? Just getting to be up here? <laughs> I don't know what she's wanting, but she's she's got something in mind. <laughs> she's needy right now. <laughs> yeah, she's always needy, that's for sure. Anyway, guys, um, that concludes July, and we are moving on into August. So for the month of August, um, YouTubers usually have this thing called Vlogist. Is that what it's called? Yes, where you vlog every day and post a video. So I have been posting a video every day, if you hadn't noticed. I've been working hard posting videos every day. And some days this month, I was able to post two. Now, sometimes it's hard to come up with topics for videos, but I'm going to give it my best shot to put out at least one video every day for the month of August. What do you think? Get after it. <laughs> you could help me. <laughs> um, I have a few more things I want to crochet for the... Um, uh, the crochet under the sea wreath. I'd like to do um, some starfish, some seashells, and um, I have a purple fish that I still want to crochet for that that I haven't started on yet because all these other projects keep jumping in front in the line, front of the line, and so maybe I'll get to that soonish because I think my son Dakota is going to come out and help me put the tool on that wreath and. Um, I just have a lot of things planned for August. I have a lot of projects that I want to make for the fair. Our fair does not come until the end of September. It starts September the 30th. So I believe that's the weekend that I will be taking my projects up to enter them in the fair. And I will be taking you guys along with me to um, enter my projects and then to go back and see projects that have been entered and um, all that kind of stuff. And also along this way, I'm going to be crocheting things that I don't have something for different categories. Like I know I need to make a Christmas stocking. Um, <laughs> I need to make a Christmas stocking and just a few more items. Also, I need to get out some totes that I have some items in and look through those to see what I have crocheted since our last fair to put in the um, fair this year. The rule is it has to be um, made since the last fair and it, we haven't had a fair since 2019 but here's the kicker. Anything I have crocheted I know is eligible for the fair because I did not learn to crochet until after the 2019 fair. I was loom knitting before then so I learned to crochet that October of that year so anything I have crocheted is eligible for the fair because it was not made before the last fair because I didn't know how to crochet then <laughs> so that's interesting so I can look through some blankets that I have and pick out a baby blanket um, and different things like that so Phoebe why are you staring big daddy down is that your daddy she loves her daddy <laughs> well guys we better get going because um you know, we're taking up the whole internet here with this video. <laughs> so, we will see you again in a video really soon. At least me and Phoebe will. I don't know about Big Daddy. Are you going to join us for a video soon? We'll see. <laughs> Y'all can tell he's so excited. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Bye, friends. See y'all later. Bye.